Welcome. Systems check. System all clear. Initiating startup protocol. Welcome trivia and crypto degenerates. Access granted. Enjoy the descent into this immersive game of knowledge. All right, there we go. We're live. Welcome, everybody, as always, to Trivia Vice. What's going on tonight, Dan? Oh, not too much. I, well, Kyle and I actually split this one. I, I think we have a good one for you guys. Um, mm -hmm. I did half. Kyle did half, and we got some. I got some tough ones. I'm not gonna lie. I, I got some toughies in in my group. I, I did the first three rounds, uh, and the bonus Kyle did round four and five. So I don't know what he did at all. Um. So it's going to be an interesting one tonight. We have general knowledge, so we have a little bit of everything. And my questions kind of go everywhere. They're kind of all over the place. So I'm not sure how you what you did with them in particular, but I know for for a fact mine are definitely uh, all over the place. So yeah, yeah, I, kind uh, of the same thing. But I'm excited nonetheless. Let me just grab a piece of paper real quick because um, I don't know why I didn't bring one with. <laughs> Here's one. All right. All right, let's see here. All right, we ready to jump right into it? Yeah, let's let's jump right into it. I uh, I thought we'd have more people on being President's Day weekend. Maybe that's uh, maybe that's the the trick of it all. So we'll see. Hmm. But all right, all right let's get into it. Get this. We have twenty five questions. Uh, you just need to type in one, two, three, or four. No need to end the comments for the correct answer. No need to type it all out. Um, and we have a bonus question. Top three people per round get a point. Person with the most points at the end wins. Stephanie says a lot of people are on vacation. That's true. I forget that this is a big vacation week. So, Yeah. Well, we're starting to get some people coming on, it looks like. Uh, I'm a big fan of this purple background, if you haven't noticed. I use it a lot. It's very soothing to me. Oh, we didn't change the time in between the... Oh, here. Res reset it real quick and just bump him down. Sorry about that. I completely forgot about that. I'll take two seconds. Just bring it back to the screen for me if you need to. Ooh. So you can see my beautiful face. Do what? You just bring it back to me if you need to while you fix it. Uh, so, am yeah, I able to fix it once it started? Oh, you should be able to. Can you can you reset? You should be able to reset it and then or I copy that. The game. I was gonna say pause, pause it, or copy the uh, the round and make a round two out of it. That makes sense. Let me try here. Sorry about that. We uh, when I went through, I made the first round, so all the rounds following it would have followed suit and i didn't make it with the correct timer so bear with us one moment while we get started uh, i don't think i can change it really yeah, yeah once it started i don't think it allows you to weird okay yeah. well we're just gonna we're gonna move right along then and uh we'll trudge right along i guess and you guys will just have to it'll be taking just a little longer to get in between in between questions let's see that is strange did we change the time in between questions? No, nothing, nothing like that's changed. Okay, hold on. Two seconds sure how that... here. I've never had that happen before. I don't know how that. Yeah. Here, I can t yeah. I can tweak it real quick if you need, Kyle. There we go. Why is it not showing? Yeah, here we go. I don't know what that was all about. Well, now I can't get it to show. What the heck is going on with this thing tonight? Sorry, guys. Hold on a second. <laughs> our software is like all over the place. We've been doing this like this is like our 76th uh, live stream, and we haven't had a problem up until now. So let's see. Let's try this again one last time. <laughs> Resume it. <laughs> Is it showing up white? Yeah, it's white. What the heck? Um, 
Interesting. This is a. Uh... Sorry, guys. I don't know what is going on here. Here, put <laughs> put it back on on the screen for you, and I'll I'll just hop on and see if I can work it on my side. Give me give us one one more minute here. Let's see. <laughs> I think I might have it for my end, Kyle. All that stuff's right. Wonder if I can stop it and then I don't think you can restart it though once it's been stopped. It's self sustaining now. <laughs> It can't be stopped. Uh, okay. I think I might be good over here. I don't know for sure, though. Do you think you have it? So try to share it again. Well, no, I mean, it's still yeah. going up white. Okay, hang on. I got one more idea. <laughs> Well, while we're waiting in the comments, guys, give us some ideas for uh, other trivia games we can do. Because we'd love to hear it. Um, I have one more trick up my sleeve that might work, Kyle. What if we copy the game? Duplicate project. Big brain peeps. All right, Kyle, exit out real quick of that and then go out. <laughs> Just take, just yeah, go out to the all projects and then to go to the copy one. Let's try that. Before you go live, though, bring it down and adjust the the timers. Ooh. Yeah. See, it pays off to be patient, everybody. Now you get to see quickly how how we make games in the background. You, That's right. This is, think of this as like a an educational the game. This is uh, the documentary of Trivia Vice. Kennedy says she misses all the horror trivia from October. I, you know, um, I'll have to, I will have to do one of those. Harry Potter. Uh, Kyle will have to Kyle make that. Kyle loves Harry Potter. Uh, Crypto Explorer says maybe it's the browser catch. I'm trying to clear the catch all the windows and open again. That probably would have fixed it. But the good news is we're getting the timer down too. Because for some reason we cannot. We have talked to the software company about this many times, and we can't. It's a preset thing, and they don't. They like to have like a two minute timer between rounds, and we. Yeah, I have that patience. That. Kyle don't. Kyle and I don't have that patience, so we give yeah. you guys thirty seconds between. We like to go quick. Um, nobody got. Nobody got that kind of time. Bobby says logos. Logos is a fun one. A lot of people like the logos. Um, got some Harry Potter's. Jerry says no Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> um the fun thing is i like maybe we should go on a, a general knowledge one we could do we could do a little bit of those we could do a horror movie round we could do a harry potter round we could do a logo round um i almost did a logo one today instead i did another flag one because i found a really uh interesting one that i i think is gonna fool a lot of people and that's my ultimate goal in life is to trick everybody on here <laughs> For, uh, for the flag, you said? Yeah, for the bonus. It's actually the bonus one. one. All right, we should be should be good to go now. All right, we're going to try this again. <laughs> you go make sure, you're on, make sure you're on round one there, Chief, before you uh, see how oh, start with the gotta... Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I don't know points. if I have to fill all that stuff out. I usually nah, do, no, but no. I don't, don't worry about, about it. Worry about that. All right, just a just a slight six minute setback. <laughs> Keep calm; it's okay, only a well, spike. That's good. <laughs> it will soon stabilize. <laughs> oh my god, we did it! There we go. All right, we're good. Oh my god, thank you so much for staying with us, everybody. We have some patient people in our group. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. We have never had that happen. No, that was weird. Seven months, eight months. Yeah, but. Now that we do, we know how to fix it quick. We just duplicate the the game. Probably just gave probably just gave your computer a virus, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, I'll start off round one. So round one, general knowledge. 
Which actress danced the twist with John Travolta in Pulp Fiction? Uma Thurman, Pam Greer, Kathy Griffin, or Bridget Fonda? Steph, Steph says, says Spider-Man 2 quotes. Absolutely. Yes. I, I'm actually really impressed that she got that. <laughs> I love my so Spider-Man 2 quotes. It'll stabilize. <laughs> now I'm starting to question, okay, is this the... Was this my first round question? Now I'm like questioning everything. I it, It's messing with my head, so that, that's all. So this one is Uma Thurman. Her and John Travolta in Pulp Fiction do the twist together in that really cool restaurant that's like a 50s model, 50s restaurant. Question number two. Which German sportswear company's logo is the form stripe? Reebok, Puma, Nikes, or Adidas? I would have gotten this one wrong. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think I know, but... Oh, he thinks he knows. I'm curious. I'm assuming it's Adidas. Kyle's going to... See? I would have thought Adidas, too. Or it's Reebok. actually It's Puma. Because really? Puma... Well, you got to think. Remember, Puma doesn't have just the Panther. Puma mm-hmm. also has those... Remember those mm-hmm. set, like the 70s and 80s shoes that are coming back into style? Yep. They have that long stripe that goes down the side of them. That's their form stripe. I had to type that in to double-check the question. Um, but it is it is true that that is uh, it's actually Puma. Fun fact there, never would have gotten that. Yeah, we had everybody kind of all over the board on that. So yeah. All right, question number three: What is the capital of Scotland? Is it London, Glasgow, Edinburgh, or Dundee? Steph said it counted her last one wrong because she had the number in her Spider-Man comment. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my gosh. That's actually kind of funny. (laughs) Sorry, if if that's like the uh, tipping point that you lose the round and don't place in it, then I do apologize. That would really suck. But you have a point for understanding it. I was guessing. I, I was thinking this was Edinburgh. So it is. So um, I'll be honest. I don't know where Dundee is. And Glasgow is the only thing I know about that is uh, the Glasgow smile you get when they like the Joker in the Dark Knight, right? Uh, the Dark Knight, when he has the, they call it that Glasgow smile where like they take the knife and cut a smile in your face. Apparently that's something gangs do over there. That's just weird. But all right, question number four. Hel was the daughter of which Norse mythological figure? Thor, Odin, Loki, or Baldr? See how well people know their Norse mythology. <laughs> I do not know mine very well. A lot of people going to... Few few threes in there. I uh, see. I would have gone two probably only because of like Hella maybe or something, but it is Loki. Really? Okay. Yeah. I I thought it was two. Yep. Loki is the father of Hell. Huh. Yeah. I would I would have guessed Odin. Or I Thor. I would have I would have guessed Thor or Marvel. Or I would have guessed Thor or Odin for sure. Hmm. I'm not sure who Balder is. I feel sorry that I don't know. And apparently no one knows. <laughs> don't know who you are, sir. All right, last question around number one. In which state of America was the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air born and raised in? Pennsylvania, New Jersey, California, or Florida? I had to put this in here because of the new Fresh Prince. So have you seen the commercials for that, Kyle? On I have, yeah. It looks it looks interesting. I it, mean, I, exactly. I kind of want to watch it because it's, it's one of my favorite shows of the 90s. So, like, I want to watch it because the reviews of it say it's a totally different take. It's a lot more serious. It's not as much comedy. Correct. It looks very serious. And I'm wondering, like, I'm glad it's not the same thing. They're not rehashing the exact same formula. Apparently, a lot of um, people had a, had a problem with Carlton. Because like in the in the original, he's like kind of he's really nerdy and he, he's just really comical and everything. Apparently in this one, um, 
Carlton's pretty dark. Like he's like big time druggy and stuff. Jeez. Apparently that's what the <laughs> review said. Yeah. Like some really, hey, he took speed in one episode in the original. That, that's not, not on purpose, yeah. but he did. Whoops. Um, so Kennedy says nineties movie and TV quiz would be fun. That's a, that'd be a fun one. That would be something Kyle and I would specialize in very oh, well. Yeah. Okay. So right off the board, we got a couple people um, that went five for five. Actually, we had uh, five total people that went five for five, but speed obviously does count in these. So all placing a point in the first round is Graydon. Um, well, I'm not sure how you say that, so I'm going to say Prud because that's the last part of the name. Um, and Matthew. Going in to round number two. God, I'm so glad we didn't have to do a two-minute wait every time. That would just be, I don't even care if it took an extra couple minutes to figure out. Yeah, but, you said that would just irritate me, like waiting two minutes in between each round. Once we get going, this is a well-oiled machine. And we don't we, there's no slowing it down. Mm-hmm. Exactly. We have we're self-sustaining now. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny is in that movie in Spider-Man 2, Doc Ock created something honestly just as cool as the power of the sun in the palm of his hand with his tentacles. So that's like a modern marvel. Yeah. I'm just saying that could solve a lot of problems in and of itself. All right. Number one, Gwyneth Paltrow has a daughter named Lily, French, Dakota, or Apple. I do know this. Which one of these is your favorite name, Kyle? Apparently, a lot of people know this. Hmm. I didn't think this would be a well-known fact, but I wouldn't have thought apparently it's that. an extremely well-known fact. Yeah, Apple. Maybe she has to think for unusual names because I mean, her name's kind of unusual. Gwyneth, yeah. Apple Mar- Martin, right? Because it's it's Chris Martin's. Yeah, as you say, because I think it was Chris Martin, right? Yeah. I know she has a candle, I'm pretty sure, that it's scented like her vagina, supposedly. Who she does? Sells- Gwyneth Paltrow. She has... Uh- <laughs> Kyle's taking notes. He's like, uh, and where can you buy such a thing? <laughs> no, it's actually called that. It's called My Vagina. It's a scent on her goop. Is her, what- is her company? I swear. Huh. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> All right, number two. Which franchise does the creature Slowpoke originate from? Yu-Gi-Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog, Pokemon, or Dragon Ball? <laughs> See, Kennedy says yes, yes, she does. I'm not saying I bought it. It's actually what I use the when I <laughs> when I have to clear out the bathroom and put a nice scent in there. That's what I. It's like, but I, I mean, <laughs> I don't get it. Um, but <laughs> apparently, she does. See, I always got to come up. I got some fun facts, for, you know, for you guys. You learn so much with trivia. <laughs> so this, of course, for those who do not know, Slowpoke is from Pokemon. Slowpoke is the one who's got like a, I think he's he's like a purple or a pink. I mean, excuse me. He's like a pink pig thing with like a tail, like a long tail that has like a seashell on it. I don't really know how to explain it. All right, number three. Where is Hadrian's Wall located? Rome, Italy, Dublin, Ireland, Carlisle, England, or Alexandria, Egypt? See, Jackpot says it evolves into Slowbro and also Slacking. Um, Slowbro is probably the coolest name I've ever heard. I always liked um, Snorlax. Dude, Snorlax is the GOAT. The dude has. I, no... I, I just remember it being like this big fat bear that lays down and sleeps. Yeah, but he has he has like no attack, but he has just like a ridiculous amount of health. Snorlax is the best. I play Pokemon Go. I play Pokemon Go occasionally, and it's very frustrating when someone plays with a Snorlax because it just sits there and just tanks all of your Pokemon. A lot of people knew that. Carlisle, England. I yeah, I, I wouldn't have known that. Uh, number four, what's the name of the Boeing B-29 that dropped the little boy atomic bomb in World War II? The Great Artist, Necessary Evil, Full House, or Enola Gay? A 
lot of people going with four. I think just about everybody went four on that. We got a couple other answers, but almost everybody going with four. So, um, going back to Pokemon, I'm curious why was uh, why was Snorlax your favorite? Just because he's just this big, fat, like <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, I know he, is. he just laid there and slept. Just laid there and slept. That is my spirit animal right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number five. When did Norway become uh, free from Sweden? 1925, 1905, 1834, or 1814. So I was also going to include because I'll be honest, I didn't know that they were ever together. <clears throat> I never knew that Sweden actually was part of Norway. Um, did you know that? I didn't know people, that. No. How many people knew this? I did not know this was like an actual thing. Yeah, I didn't um, know that was a thing. But yeah, apparently Norway was originally part. I gotta do more. I had to do more research on that one because uh, to figure out the history of that because that's really interesting. Hmm. Oh my god, I forgot about that. The pokey flute where they like, they had to play it to put him to sleep or whatever. That's unlocking a memory for me, Jeffrey. Oh man, yeah, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. So 1905, that seems very recent, doesn't it? For like something like Nor, like I feel like Norway's always been there, but I did not know that. Okay, so we got a whole new slew of peeps and uh, with a place. So we got a six way tie now. So we got Kennedy, we have Dolphix, Dolphox, Dolphox, I think that's how you say it, and Dorothy. Dolphox, it's like a, like a combination of Dolph Lundgren and Star Fox. <laughs> Dolph. Dolph is a that's a alpha mm. name. Dolph is definitely an alpha like, name. You do not fuck with a guy named Dolph. <laughs> like if you seriously, you know, uh, you know, a guy cool. named Dolph is probably of Russian origin, and probably like eats glass shards with his cereal in the morning. <laughs> There's a lesson to be learned. So if you ever run into a Dolph, just run away or become best friends with them. Don't piss them off. All right. Question number three or round number three. Question number one. What country has a horizontal bicolor red and white flag? Monaco, Malta, Burma, or Bahrain? Hmm. A long time ago, down in Burma. I think of Alfred's story from the Dark Knight when I hear Burma talking about all the big ruby stones. <laughs> <laughs> talking about how some men just want to watch the world burn. It's a great story, but that's the only way, that's the only reference of Burma I even know. I don't even know where Burma is on the map. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to tell you it, that or honestly any of them. <laughs> maybe Monaco. Maybe, maybe maybe Okay, I don't know where Monaco is if I'm being honest. Is it near Spain? I think so yes a lot of people got that i'm impressed i didn't even know but i didn't even heard of bahrain is it a real place i don't know i think it is i've heard of bahrain but all right name the actor willem dafoe guy pierce gary oldman or dustin hoffman Mm. it's funny because if you really if you look that looks looks like uh that looks like commissioner gordon and Sirius black to me (laughs) It's funny though because this is a this is he was a little younger than this. If you look hard enough, to me he looks like Guy Pierce and Dustin Hoffman a lot. Like I was just, I, I I thought the second closest was Dustin Hoffman. I mean it's, yeah. it's definitely Gary Oldman, but I thought uh, Dustin Hoffman was pretty. Close. If Dustin Hoffman lost a little weight uh, when he was younger, that would have or even Guy Pierce though. Guy Pierce from like um, Iron Man three. Yeah, he looks a lot like him when he's like in his. Uh, what the heck is the guy's name in that where who he plays? The Aldrich Killian. Aldrich Killian. That's another cool name. Aldrich. Aldrich. I like that name. That's a name. I don't know any Aldriches. It's not as I'm surprised you didn't get any with Willem Dafoe, because I would have thought that would have gotten something. All right. Here's a fun one. Name the flag. Monaco, 
Malta, Burma, or Bahrain? I got a big. You can't see it right now, but I got a big smile on my face because I want to see. Who knows? Well, it's definitely not Monaco because I didn't. We just say that the that it was vertical for Monaco. <laughs> no, we said we said horizontal. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> it was a trick question. It was Monaco. <laughs> I wanted to see who was paying attention, and Kyle definitely was not. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> he says, this is the same flag you described. Oh, yes. See, I, you know, got to make sure you guys are paying this now. now no yeah, one see, I wasn't ever, the only one. No one will ever forget now what Monaco's flag looks like because you had to do it twice. Yep. It's a very simple, very boring flag. All right, question number four. Lateral epic. Dilatus is commonly referred to as what? Turf toe, tennis elbow, skier's thumb, or athlete's foot? Jackpot mm. says it doesn't cost anything to pay attention. That's a really, I like that. That's pretty deep. Mm-hmm. If I was a teacher, that's what I would tell my kids. <clears throat> Lateral apicondylitis. A pick on the latest. A lot of people going with tennis elbow. I I was thinking it was athlete's foot. Kyle's going athlete's foot. Did I get no turf toes? No one went with turf toe? It is actually tennis elbow. Um, Fun fact, I didn't know skier's thumb was a real injury. Apparently it is. That's what I was just going to ask. Is that actually a thing? I had to look up because I couldn't think of a fourth name that um i couldn't think of a fourth name that like people use as like a term. There's golfer's elbow, but I think it's the same exact thing as tennis elbow i could be wrong but skier's thumbs is a thing i didn't know that all right question number five what are panama hats made out of straw silk hemp or flax so i feel like this one's gonna be i I think a lot of people are gonna get this one i this is gonna come down to speed speed is what we need (laughs) we got pretty much it's either straw or hemp it looks like most people are going with is hemp the stuff that you could get si- you could get stuff made out of when we were down in St. Thomas? Is that like I think so? Um it's like I don't know. I don't know how you describe hemp. It's like I, I think rope. I know what you're talking about. Though. Yeah, it's, it's almost like a rope. I think that's what that is. I don't know what flax what can someone ex- explain to me what flax is? I don't know. Is it don't they have like flax seeds? Well, yeah, but they can't make a hat out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe. It depends on how crafty they are. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, a lot of patience. Um, okay, Dolph, so, look at that. All right, right so we top. got Dolph again with, with two points now, uh, Matthew with two points, and Dorothy with two points. So now we have uh, Dorothy, Dolph, and Matthew with two in first place. And then in second place, we got Kennedy. Uh, uh, Pruitt and then uh, Grayson. Can't read a uh, Graydon. Sorry, I can't read my own handwriting. It's atrocious. Steph says I thought hemp was a pot plant. Oh, well, that could be too. Yeah, I th- well, I think there's. St- I don't know. I think that's a. Is hemp? I think hemp's a very generalized term, but I don't know for sure. I don't know much about the. Uh, different. Jerry says it is. Jerry says what? He says it is that hemp is a pot plant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> well, we were way off then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Number one in the state of Georgia, it's illegal to eat what with a fork? Waffles, oh. shrimp, pancakes, or fried chicken? Kyle made this question. I I have heard this before, and I think I know. I I could be wrong though. I was gonna say okay, so it's there's it's a pot plant, but there's no THC. Oh, okay. Interesting. That seems very unresourceful. Um, I is it waffles? Nope. Close. Pancakes. Okay. Nope. What? Chicken. Fried chicken? Yeah. Can't eat chicken with a uh, with a fork. Who eats chicken now, with a fork? I mean, now I don't know if this is actually true or not, but yeah, who, I mean, 
Yeah, that that's true. You know, you don't eat fried chicken with a fork. Yeah, let's be honest. When, when it comes to fried to chicken, in jail if you do that. Yeah, when it comes to fried chicken, there's no high society folk. We just all get yeah. messy fingers. All right, number two. What year was the very first model of the iPhone released? 2009, 2008, 2007, or 2006? Jackpot says he's lived in Augusta, Georgia his whole life. Never heard of that. Yeah, that's I I don't know if it's actually true or not. I, that's um, an interesting question. I think it's kind of like a. I think I, I, maybe it's like an urban legend or something. No, I believe it because we there's a lot of there's a lot of weird like. Uh, laws in certain states that are really silly. If you look it up, there are a lot of them that, like, I think no cops actually enforce it because it's like, yeah, you're going to get a ticket for eating uh, fried chicken with a fork. Like, who actually had time? There are really, there, it's not speaking, the only dumb law. Speaking of cops, though, uh, Dan and I got to see a cop pull over somebody earlier. They thought that they were going to be real smart and they blew through a four way stop sign right next to an elementary school on a four wheeler. <laughs> yeah. And they didn't plan on the cop sitting there in the uh, right <laughs> on the side of the road. <laughs> the donut shop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that, <laughs> that was, was awesome. All right. Number three, which email service is owned by Microsoft? Zoho, Yahoo, Outlook, or Hotmail? So I says, oh no, was it Ridge Road? Yes, yes, it was. He was uh, sitting right next to the last stand. Yeah, the cop was enjoying a nice coffee and ice cream, and this guy—I don't know what he was thinking, but yeah, decided to like just blow through the four-way stop with a two people on a four-wheeler. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep. So I was going to go with Outlook, and I think a lot of people went with Outlook, um, but I'm not 100 percent sure on this. I've never heard of Zoho. Let's find out. Oh, look at that. Hot. Man. Of, I don't know who owns Outlook, but according to I, I double checked it. And huh. uh, according to everything I saw, Hotmail is owned by Microsoft. No, that was really interesting. That is interesting. All right. Number four, which planet has the most gravity? Uranus, Pluto, Mars or Jupiter? It is really interesting that Microsoft owns Hotmail. Like, okay, you're Microsoft, and then you own Hotmail. Like, I don't even know anybody that has a Hotmail email address anymore. Yeah, I don't know. So Matthew says Outlook is also owned by Microsoft. I would have to think that it is. I I double checked it online, and nobody nobody said that it was. But now I'm curious. Now I'm is. curious, but I, I I'll double check, but. Sometimes the the game made was that a game made question? Yes, that might that might be. Yeah, that, that, that that was, well. I I made almost every question. That was actually one of them that I left in there because I'm like, that's probably that gonna get the most people. gravity. Jupiter. Okay, which one's first? That right there was a well known fact too. Which one's first? So is it Mercury? Well, I guess that wasn't on there. So that never mind. I don't know. All right, number five. What was the name of the family who starred in Seventh Heaven? The Connors, the Chrisleys, the Kerrigans, or the Camdens? Hmm. Um, I remember Seventh Heaven being a really big thing when I was in like elementary school, yeah, and middle school, and I and I don't re I never watched it. I feel like it was not really. Yeah, I, was say, I, I never watched it, but I remember it being like a big thing for. But I believe it's the Kerrigans. Or is it the Camdens? A lot of people going four. So it is the Camdens. I, I wouldn't uh, have gotten that right. No, I I made the I, question and <clears throat> I didn't know what the answer was, but I was like, uh, that's a, a well known show, but I don't know if like a lot of people watched it or not. But yeah, apparently. Yeah, did not know that. All right, let's see how everyone did in round four. Do we get any breakup going on here? Because like I said, we got um okay so we got jerry on the board and kev and then we got uh graden with two so we have dorothy we have dolph and uh prue uh blah, 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 blah. what's what the heck's the name here i don't know if they're even still on anymore what's that 
the one person's, I don't think they're on here anymore, Pruell or whatever. Um, but we got, so we got Graydon, Matthew, Dolph, Dorothy, all with two apiece in first place. We got Kev, Jerry, um, Kennedy, and Pruell or Pruedd. I don't remember. I don't think they're even on anymore, but they have one. Going into the final round, and then we also have a bonus at the end. All right, question number one. How many points did Michael Jordan score in his first NBA game? Nine? <laughs> no way. Four or 40, 35, or 16? I'm curious if Dan knows this. I'm going to say 16. Okay. I don't know for sure, but I'm going by the fact that I don't think there's any way a rookie in his first game would drop 35 or 40, and I feel like nine's just too small for Michael Jordan. So if, if it was me, if I didn't know, I actually probably would have went with like 35. Like I would have okay. just knowing him, I was like, I, I that's what I was assuming. But um, I figured something higher, but it was 16. Yes. Well, yeah, so I think the people got that a lot. A lot of people went, I was gonna, a lot of people I thought would go for like something around 30, 35. <clears throat> All right, question number two. Who is the main character in the show Burn Notice? Sam Axe, Michael Weston, Madeline Weston, or Fiona uh, Glennan? I had an unhealthy obsession in like 2007, 2008 with Burn Notice in the summers because it was always on AMC. I loved Burn Notice. And then I kind of just stopped watching it after two seasons, not because I didn't like it, but because, you know, Back in the day when there wasn't streaming, you had to wait a whole year before the next season came out, and uh, yep. I just stopped watching it. But Michael Weston was one of my favorite characters on TV for a long time. Burn Notice is a great show. I have to go back through and watch it sometimes. I'm sure it still holds up. I'm hoping to save my questions because this was a game question. This one wasn't mine. The first question was mine. This one, This was already on the game, though, so I'm hoping... Hoping it saved my other questions. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> if not, that would be like par for the course. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, it didn't save my questions. <laughs> oh, all right. Question number three. The key of sharps does ex- does the key. The key of sharps does the key of G minor contain. What the heck? Seven, I have no five, idea. three, or zero. Yeah, sorry, guys. This is not my, yeah. Th- the first question is definitely mine, and then... Apparently, the other four didn't save. Well, remember, we hopped on together, and the thing was acting weird. Even before we started, Kyle and I were going through the questions because we like to go through them now before we – and then we were both on, and I don't know what the heck happened there, but it was like – Yeah, it was like going nuts. Half of my rounds weren't showing the right question, and half of your – it was a mess. But then at the end, it seemed like everything was good, so I don't know. Just wasn't wasn't meant to be tonight. Although yeah. I'm really excited for the final question. It's a flag one, full disclosure. But I have not seen Ted Lasso yet. Although Stephanie, my wife and I do plan on watching because we've heard it's hilarious. All right, question number four. Who turns out to be the true victor in the Battle of Armageddon? Mortal Kombat. Shao Kahn, Shang Tsung, Raiden, or Liu Kang? I remember playing Mortal Kombat on the Sega. So Raiden, Raiden, I believe, is like the head of everything. He's like, um, I think it's, is it Shao Kahn? I I, I have no yeah, idea. I'm trying to remember. Uh, I watched the, well, okay, so the new movie, spoiler, there's no actual Mortal Kombat, which is my probably my biggest regret. Like, the movie itself is kind of fun and dumb popcorn movie. Um, but the problem is it's called Mortal Kombat, but they never actually get to the Mortal Kombat tournament before they all start fighting and killing each other. I don't know. I was a little disappointed with that as a, as a fan of the old movies, but the new movie was, was enjoyable. Okay. This Shao Kahn. Okay. Final question of the night before we get into the bonus and Kelvin and Hobbs. Yeah. Kyle definitely didn't make this question. <laughs> what is the name of the principal at Kelvin school? Mr. Spittle. Mr. Spitling, Mr. Mo, or Mr. Borman? 
I do remember Brad used to have some I Calvin and Hobbes books. Just gonna I, say the only thing about Calvin Hobbes I remember is Brad had like a a uh, weird thing with him for like six months where he like <laughs> no he did though he liked drawing them and he liked like yeah reading the comic he had this giant book of like all the different strips that it's ever had yeah i never got it yep. i never understood why it was funny but i was also like in sixth grade so it's probably over my I head i don't remember the principal's name though i was gonna say spittle a lot of people going with number one but as we know sometimes in trivia that doesn't always pay off but this time it does it is Mr. Spittle. Mr. Spittle. All right, so what do we got here? Thing. So Dolph and Graydon, and so then K. So K gets a point now, and then Dolph is in first place along with Graydon with three points apiece. Uh, Matthew and Dorothy have two, and then Kev, K, Jerry, and Kennedy all have one in third place going in to the final question so for those who do not know only one person gets the point in the final bonus so we might have a tie win here which i don't like to do i normally don't but that might just have to be how it goes so you said the bonus is a flag it is a flag and just you know okay it's a state flag Uh, oh uh, okay I liked this one. This one I did not know. Name the state flag. Is it Washington, Rhode Island, Oregon, or Massachusetts? Hmm. So Jerry says we're gonna love Ted Lasso. I've I have heard nothing but like I was gonna say I've heard about. really good things about it. Steph didn't understand the assignment. She typed in Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> that is not not an option. So let's see who's the first person to get it. Type it in here. So it is um, Oregon. I that would have been my guess because I, all I can think of when I look at that is Oregon Trail. Yeah. Okay. With the, with the cows pulling the see, um, but the see, I see the ships in the backyard, in the backyard, in the background, <laughs> all that. Like I was thinking Massachusetts for some reason that gave me a Massachusetts vibe or a Rhode Island for sure. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but it is Oregon. It looks like Dolph is the quickest, which will officially break up the pack and give Dolph four points. So Dolph is our winner tonight. Congratulations. Um, let's see here. In second place, Graydon with three points. In third place, we had Dorothy and Matthew with uh, two points apiece. So congratulations, Dolph. Um, that's a badass name. I mean, we, we're... we're, we're uh, abbreviating it but we're just going to call you Dolph now if you keep playing so congratulations uh guys have a great night thank you so much we'll see you guys on wednesday um and you know i think i'm going to do that mix up i think we're going to do a harry potter round i'm going to do a horror movie round and i'm going to do a logo round for sure guaranteed me all right guys have a good night we'll see you next time